Everybody look at him once, man. He's not going to stand up again, all right? So I want you to rate me, my co-host, and then our fucking producer. Go, from one to ten. Just off beauty, go. I would speak, speak, speak into the fucking mic. Okay. If you don't know what this is. This I don't is... know what this is, but it, sounds very, it looks familiar. Yeah, this is the discount fresh and fit. I would rate you. First you're rating me, and then him, and okay. then him. Go. Um, I'll rate you a seven. All right, what is he? I'll rate you an eight, right. and I'll rate Josh an eight also. Okay, what about you? Go. Uh, I would rate you a eight. Okay. Nine. Okay. Uh, come on, he just fucking stood up, bro. Like, come on. Mm, I would say nine. All right, what about you over there? Go. Two. Okay. <laughs> I would give him a nine. Okay. What is what is he over there? I would give him a ten because okay. he invited me. <laughs> All right. So again, you sound like a stupid ass bitch. Nothing. You ain't just. You sound like. Well, no. She called him a two. And. <laughs> He, he, that, that's the thing. If I go up to some, if the person, oh my days, it's, it's like this guy is a girl that goes up to you and says, "Does this shit make me look fat?" And you're like, "Yeah, kind of." And he's like, "And dare you? That's you. You asked." I'm not gonna lie. If a girl said I was a two out of ten, I would just laugh. One, because I think the rating's absurd, but also because I don't really care that deeply. I, oh, my days. He's, here's the thing. If you've been with women, if you've dated, then you know, you should have an idea of where you're at. You you asked. Like, I don't need to ask. I know where I'm at because of my experiences. You asked. You asked, you give you a low number, keep it pushing. You fucking asked. And the reason why I think this interaction is funny is a lot of these guys who run these men's podcasts who want to tell men how to live their lives are like some of the most sensitive, most ungentlemanly most like Whatever, man. uncivilized people you could imagine. It's like, why would I want to take cues from a loser like you? Bro, you getting pressed on a podcast because a girl says she don't think you cute. It don't matter. Keep it pushing, my dude. Like, if you getting women, like, let's just excuse that. If you get, you don't even care. I have never cared when a woman said I didn't. Was it, why? Because I've had a, it doesn't matter. Hey, maybe. The only people who care are people who like have some kind of deep seated issue. And it comes out every time a girl says no. Because if you actually get it, a girl says, no, you keep it moving. The only dudes who be like, go up to a girl, she says, no, and boy, fuck you, then. It's because you got issues, my guy. But hey, if I'm lying, guys, you guys get in the comments below. If you done did, okay, let me ask you. A girl saying, no, did it bother you? Okay. You, you said you said you were a stupid ass bitch. Let me, let me hear why. Let okay. me hear why. Okay. Why you rated me a two? Because we're not, we're not going off our interactions. We're going off beauty. I don't right? like light-skinned niggas. I don't give a fuck. He's light skinned just like me. And you just gave him a nine. You gave me a two. You only gave me a two because of the whole interaction that we've been having, right? So do me a favor. Get the fuck up and get the fuck out. Thank you. Yeah, get out. It's lame. It's corny. It's, it's, it's reheated. It's, uh, it's, yeah. Yo, it's not even entertaining. Like, I don't, there's nothing to say about this. It's like, ever it's ever like, since Fresh and Fit made this format popular, I've seen a lot of podcasts kind of spring up with the same idea. It's like two two male hosts and then a bunch of, like, women. And Bobby, hey, man. I'm going to keep it a statue. I couldn't imagine getting up every day and seeing a bunch of women who I find undesirable or annoying and then having to lecture them every single day about life. Like, I would just get so fucking bored. But hey, everyone has a different interest. We do reaction content, so some people don't find that interesting. Everything got everybody got their thing. But I don't know. It's just funny to me. That's all. This is like even this whole interaction doesn't get me mad or upset. It's just whatever. Man. Go to therapy. I think I think you might I think you just need some therapy, bro. And it's not even as an insult. No. I, it's not just, even it's not even as an insult. Like go to it's not that. It's for real, for real, my guy. Yeah. Like well, it's 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 not a diss. It's not something like to come at you. You're hurt. Something happened, I don't know what it is. You need therapy. That's therapy shit. I think everybody needs therapy, but you... Not, not, no, not everyone needs therapy. That's not true. I don't think everyone needs therapy. I would say this. When I say therapy, what I'm just saying is, like, you need some self-reflection and some growth. That's it. That's all it is. Because, like, that's what, they even have this phenomenon in the red pill. They call it red pill rage. 
It's like when you discover the truth or whatever, you get angry. And I, and I could say that there's been a period in my life where there's been a negative resentment towards women due to the past experiences. I've gone through it. So like, I'm fine with that. I understand it. Like, I get it. What I just don't understand is when you're going through that phase and you're trying to lecture men about how to live lives, like, bro, you haven't even gone through half of your evolution and you are here telling dudes how they got to get it. It's like, relax, relax. You can't even put on a good face in front of the cameras. Imagine what you like off camera. And a lot of guys are lost or don't know what to do when it comes to women or how. So they look to these guys who are surrounded by women and they're like, oh, this guy must be having it. Oh, this is how you got to talk to the ladies, right? I bet you these guys probably got fresh and fit favored and subscribed to. And uh, they hit the notification bell. That's where they're getting the cues from. And it's like a lot of dudes got to hear whatever they got going on where they're so angry and resentful. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying women are perfect or whatever. It's not that. My whole point is if you're doing half decent in life, you're not getting this mad. That's all. And I say this because I've, I've been around dudes who I consider great leaders. I've been around men who I thought were community oriented and people to be emulated and respected. And none of them ever talked like this or acted like this. Certainly not in public. Never, ever, ever. Not that I've seen. And if I did find out, I would look at them completely different. Because I'm like, bro, how you put on all of this and try to lead men? And, but then you talking to people like this. Because she rated you a two. Who cares? She didn't volunteer that information. You asked her. Then she gave you an answer you didn't like. Then you said, bitch, get the fuck up out of here. I don't know. To me, that's just sus. What? I checked out. You checked out? I f it's so fucking lame. Yo. And make me think of them dudes who Yo. go up to women. It, what's up, ma? What's up, ma? Yeah, and then fuck you. Then. That's you. <laughs> that's it. That, that's so fucking lame. Yeah. Like a level one fucking dorkamon fucking you even evolved yet and you trying to uh well this is how you do this shit you don't you don't know how to do shit you don't know about how to go about life yourself you get irate because someone rated you a two god damn keep it pushing that's what I'm saying god damn guys the best advice I could give you is when it comes to rejection stop taking that shit personal and if you do then you need to just get used to talking to people not everyone gonna like you this motherfucker walked up to a girl and said yo you wanna fuck and she said no fuck you then you a stupid ass bitch you asked <laughs> you're the one that asked that's what I'm saying what you don't know how asking on that shit is how stupid that shit is you asked ain't nobody was about they, everybody was about their business they didn't do nothing yeah you go and you ask for some. They tell their opinion, cause mind you, it's an opinion. And then you're like, "Yo, we light skin. I'm light skin like him. How are you gonna give him a thing?" Shut up. He, 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 Do you even hear yourself when you fucking talk? Did you hear that? Did you said that? How makes you? Uh, he light skin like me. How you gonna do? <laughs> Change your diaper, dude. What the fuck is wrong with you? Hey, listen. He God likes, damn. He likes California. I'll say this. Guys, if you're watching, embrace rejection. It's fine. Oh, yeah, it sucks a little geez. bit the feeling, but the way you should be approaching it, and this is how I was taught anyways, is if a girl said no, on to the next one. Who's that? Who? I remember we used to go to the club, okay, and they used to tell us, the moment you go in, approach the first person you see. Good or hot, ugly, didn't matter. Why? Just get the first one out the way. After you get the first one out the way, just start talking to the next person. Even if she says no, it doesn't matter. Keep pushing. You, you got you to gotta have a short-term memory when it comes to this stuff. But the last thing you want to do is being up in a club, a girl says no, then you make a scene. Guess what? Every other bitch doesn't see that shit. Everybody doesn't see you yelling with a woman. And it don't even matter if she deserved it or anything. All they see is a grown man yelling at a woman in a club, and all of a sudden your social value has plummeted to fucking zero. This is the most anti-player, anti-macking behavior you could ever match. This is anti-charm. It's everything. That's what this is. You know what's your best answer whenever you get, you get rejected? The best answer you can get. Okay. That's the best thing when someone rejects you. Yep. Oh, okay. And then you leave. I'll say this. This is not even just true for dating, okay? This is not even just true for dating. This is true for life in general. When I go to a job and they say no, I try to leave on the best terms possible. Wanna know why? Because there's a possibility the job might open in the future. 
there's a possibility that that person knows somebody else that might put in a good word for me. That my resume might circulate when a new or a different position comes up or I'm overqualified, whatever it might be. You never want to just fuck off these doors. There's no reason to. Or that per like, and that same thing translates to dating. If a girl says no, I just keep it pushing. As long as things didn't go south, there's a possibility that down the line that things might happen. Maybe I'm interested, maybe she's interested, or maybe none of us are interested at that point. Who knows? Or she's got a friend who might, you never know with these things. So there's just no benefit to blowing up the spot just because somebody said no. For your own prosperity, just do not look at this kind of behavior and think this is good. Yeah, I told that bitch off. Who are you trying to impress? It's not the right impression that you're trying to make, man. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe you guys just want to seem undateable or I don't I don't take no shit from nobody. That's not what you look like. That's not what you look like. That's not what you look like. It'll look like you can't handle no. Stupid ass bitch. Make sure she gets her bag and phone too. Make sure she doesn't take the wrong fucking phone. Dummy. That's how you think the interaction with the rest of the girls are gonna be like. <laughs> they just see that out, shit. Yeah. They're like all on edge, not comfortable. It's like the hate man. It's funny. You, 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 it's funny. Like, you, this you, new you, age of so-called players or whatever are the biggest dorks and, like, uncool. I got hurt in high school, so now I want to tell everybody how much they deserve pain. Losers I don't ever seen in my life. Every every player that I've seen that was successful, every guy that I've seen that was getting girls successfully were cool, calm, and collected. Yep. There was some kind of oof, some kind of oomph. Some kind of pizzazz, some kind of spice in their thing. You understand what I'm saying? When they was walking to a girl, it was super smooth, super relaxed. They would flip that. They would flip a no into a yes yep. rather than do an out outburst. They would just flip it. Oh, yeah, that's a no. It's okay. They would do a little something. And by the end, they would still manage to get it because they were was able to flip it around. Why? Because there was no outburst. There was no, like, insults and stuff like that true they were not entitled to whatever it is no they just went on about their business did their thing and at the end it was still getting it to be fair there were corny niggas even back in the day that's not what i'm saying I'm but not the saying only differences i said they, they weren't the ones running everything or telling dudes how to live their lives nowadays uh, you got I, corny niggas yeah, everywhere yeah, trying yeah. to tell young men everybody, what it is everybody got a platform yeah now. that's the thing that's, the only that's what's difference. happening this I'm is the revenge that, of the nerds not to the this, nth degree yeah i'm not saying that the the people didn't have that. I'm saying that the best ones that I've seen, yeah, yeah. the ones that was really getting in out there, yeah. they were cool, calm, collected. Yeah. But nah, you do whatever you want to do and keep on doing that lame ass foo foo ass shit. Yeah, that's just that funny. rinky dink ass Mickey Mouth thing. Man. Operation you're running. I don't know what the fuck it is, but it ain't it, man. If you think it is, yeah. Lost in the sauce. But maybe y'all feel different. So let us know what you guys think.